Good morning, beautiful people. So I am going to start my day with some apple cider vinegar and head to the gym. This is the first thing that I do in the morning. So I know I've shown this before. I take this vinegar. It tastes so bad, but it's so good for you. I will take a lemon and lastly, I will take some water. So I'm gonna fill the vinegar up to right here. I'm gonna show you, make sure you shake it up. I'm like still half asleep right now. So this is a little bit of a struggle bus but this is sure gonna wake you up. So I take this much vinegar, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the lemon. Make sure when you buy the vinegar that you buy this, the Braggs, this is the raw apple cider vinegar. Make sure you buy this one. Um, this helps with weight loss. This helps with your digestive system. You guys can research it. It helps with so many different things. Um, for me, it really helps bloating in my stomach area, and it makes my tummy so much flatter. Um, and I do it every single day. Sometimes I will do it at night as well. If I'm feeling good, I will do it both. All right, I'm gonna go to the gym and take a shower and then I'll be back and we'll make some breakfast. So now it's time for breakfast. I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm gonna make some orange juice and I'm gonna make an acai bowl. I'm so freaking hungry. This is the acai that I'm going to use. I'm gonna show you everything I'm gonna use right now. It's super easy, really good, and really good for you. All right, so I have some strawberries, blueberries. I have a banana pineapple mango i have some coconut unsweetened coconut milk and some coconut flakes and i'm going to start by cutting up any fruits i need to cut up so i'm going to start with the banana is that how you cut it my dear right i don't know how to cut a banana and now we're going to cut up some strawberries i love strawberries I'm using a lot of different fruits today, so I'm gonna try not to go too overboard because sometimes I'll cut way too many fruits, um, which I love fruits, not a bad thing. I just don't wanna use too, too many, but I really, really love strawberries. Now I'm gonna cut up some of the pineapples. They are pre-cut, but I need them in smaller pieces. Last thing I'm gonna cut up is a little bit of mango. Thumbs up if you love mango. I'm obsessed with mango. I actually tried my first mango last summer. Like I tried mango flavored things, but nothing that was actual mango. It's so good. So now we're gonna move on to the acai. I let it thaw out so it's not as hard because it gets very frozen and very hard. So I'm gonna start with a cup. I'm just gonna wing it and use my finger. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut milk. This is dairy-free, gluten-free, lactose-free, soy-free. I'm gonna add a little bit of this just to blend with the acai. I'm gonna try to make it look pretty, make it look Instagrammable, you know? I don't make it look pretty every morning, but just for you guys, I'm gonna make it look pretty. Or try to. Banana and strawberry are my two favorite things to add to acai. Next would be pineapple. But it gives you so much energy. And acai is packed with a lot of antioxidants. And the last thing I'm gonna add is some coconut flakes. You can add granola if you want. Granola is just too heavy for me. It does taste really good, but I prefer something on the lighter side. So I like to add a little bit of coconut flakes right on top. Gives it a little bit of texture. All right, let's make some orange juice. I swear it takes like 10 oranges just to make a glass of orange juice, and I'm like, okay, now I understand why it's so expensive when you go somewhere to get fresh squeezed orange juice. How satisfying does this sound? Let's take a moment. So usually I take this time to eat and I'll read my Bible or read a book. Life can be so fast, so it's nice to get ready for the day, prepare for the day, and not just like hop on my phone. That's what I'm gonna do, is read my Bible. 
and enjoy this bowl that I made. Hey guys, so I just got back from a meeting. It is time to cook a little lunch. I'm gonna have some grilled chicken, some vegetables, and um, yeah, let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna take these chicken breast tenderloins from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna put them in my air fryer. This is a healthier way to cook if you don't want to bake and you don't wanna fry. This cuts down, it's so much better for you than frying. I'm also gonna add some broccoli and some asparagus. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna make a protein shake. I usually do this right after the gym, but since I went early today and went ahead and ate breakfast, I'm gonna do it with my lunch. This is my favorite protein. The chocolate peanut butter is so good, but this is my favorite. This is a new one because I just ran out, so I'm gonna make a protein shake. When you're really hungry after the gym, you don't wanna just go eat anything that you see. That's the biggest problem. Like, you work out hard, and then you come home, and you just eat whatever you see. Do a protein shake. It'll help with your hunger, and it also helps with your muscle and recovery, and protein is so good for you. I know I don't get enough protein, protein in my diet so this helps me a lot and it also curbs my hunger so I don't eat something bad even at night like if I'm craving something and I don't have anything that I can eat I will do a protein shake okay so I'm gonna add a couple ice cubes and then I'm gonna take one scoop literally it will taste like a chocolate milkshake it's so good I'm gonna add some broccoli and asparagus. I'm just heating up in the microwave. I'm gonna take some lemon and a little bit of Cholula. I'm almost out. And now we have a chicken bowl, broccoli and asparagus. It is time to show you guys how I make my matcha. I am obsessed with matcha lattes. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I love iced coffee so much and I have not been drinking coffee at all, which is crazy. Um, I've kind of transitioned over to matcha. Matcha is a green tea leaf powder and I always thought it looked so weird and it's, I feel like it's so trendy. Like everyone always shows it on Instagram and I tried it a couple weeks ago and I became obsessed. Um, instead of having like a boost of caffeine like coffee does, it's more sustainable energy throughout the day and there's no drop like coffee can have. It's healthier for you and it tastes delicious. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I make my matcha. I used to go to a coffee shop every single day and buy it and then a couple of days ago I started making it and literally it's so easy. Like I'm gonna show you, it is so easy to make and a lot more affordable than coffee to make. Usually a pound of coffee for me, coffee beans is like 18 to $20. This is $15 for a bag of matcha. I got mine from Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys it right now, so let's make it. All right, so this is the matcha that I use. I got it from Amazon. It's $15, and I know it looks like a small bag, but the powder is very finely milled, and you only need two scoops, so it'll last you a little bit. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two scoops. I also bought this little set. It comes with a scoop, a bamboo whisk, and a wooden spoon. So I'm gonna take the little scoop and take two scoops of matcha. I make them kind of like bigger scoops because I like mine really concentrated. So now you're gonna need some hot water. I'm gonna use my coffee machine right here and just get a little bit of hot water. You want just enough water to mix with the powder. It doesn't have to be a lot, just like a shot of water. So I have this little shot cup. All right, so I'm gonna pour this water in here. This is where the bamboo whisk comes in handy. You wanna stir in a W or M motion. You could also use a protein shaker or a blender. This is the easiest way to do it, is to have a little bamboo whisk. I got this on Amazon as well. So for everything, I think I paid like $25. Your matcha should start to get frothy and you wanna get all the little clumps out. So now you're gonna go in with any milk that you're gonna use, whether it's whole or almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, hemp milk, whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna use coconut. So you just wanna fill it up 75% of the way. Now you can go ahead and pour in your matcha shot. A 
And for my sweetener, I use zero cow. I literally only use four little drops, four to five, and it'll make it sweet. You could use any kind of sweetener you want. Simple syrup is also really good. Honey. The only thing with honey is you have to melt it down into like a honey syrup like I showed you guys in my ice latte video because obviously honey isn't going to like melt if it's cold. And I also love to drink it with whole milk as well. I'm just trying to cut back on dairy. Um, I think whole milk is like the most filling but coconut milk is my second favorite. And that's it. all good. Hey guys, so I'm winding down for the night. I'm gonna eat my dinner and watch some TV. I just started watching Riverdale. It's so good. Um, it took me a minute to like realize that it's off of the Riverdale cartoon and I was like, are you Betty, Veronica? I was like, what? Um, so I'm gonna watch some TV and eat. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for dinner, my last meal of the day. So I'm having a poke bowl for dinner. I try not to eat any carbs after like 5 p.m. Um, so in this poke bowl, I have lettuce, I have crab, tuna, salmon, spicy tuna, seaweed salad, edamame, cucumber, tomatoes, and ginger. Oh, and pineapple. I love pineapple in my poke bowl. So yummy. I love poke bowl. It's kind of like sushi, but without the rice. Um, you can add rice to this if you want, but again, I don't want any carbs, so I'm sticking with fish and greens for my dinner. So good. Um, you should be able to find poke already ready at the grocery store. Um, you can get the crab. Um, I feel like the tuna is the easiest to find. Salmon sashimi is a little bit harder to find. Or you can just go order a poke bowl. I'm drinking some green tea with my dinner. Um, I try to stay away from carbonation. Um, it, as I just hear him opening up his right. I've been just working at home and doing some random little things. Um, I went ahead and changed. I need to wash my face. I did not wash my face, but I put some like comfy clothes on. I'm tired. I'm ready to shower and go to bed. I have so many different meals that I love to make at home. So many different healthier meal options. Um, let me know if you guys want like a part two or to do another one. I could totally do another one. It was really hard to pick what meals to use for this video because there are so many different ones that I love. For this video, I picked like my ultimate favorites that I love to eat. So I hope you guys enjoy them. So this wraps up the what I ate in a day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe, notifications on. Leave any video requests down below. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.